Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and to my home. I'm Eileen, and today I'm so excited to show you this brand new style from Raquel Welch Classic Cool in Shadow Shades Golden Wheat. First, I want to thank Andrea at Wig Studio One for providing me this wig to review for you today. Okay, we're going to talk about the style, the color, the cap construction, some specs. We're going to look at all areas of this wig. I think you're really going to enjoy it. It's really a nice new style for Rocket Welch. These are not heat friendly, heat friendly fibers. Now, you know from watching any of my videos, I'm not a fan of heat friendly fibers in longer wigs. Reason being, when you start getting any length on a wig that possibly you're gonna wear a collared shirt with, that is going to decrease the life of that wig by just rubbing on your collar. So, I like heat friendly fibers in a short style. I just did uh, Advanced French by Raquel Welch that is heat friendly, short, boy cut. I think that's perfect. It really helps hold the style of those shorter wigs. But when you start getting a little longer, sleeker wig like this, I prefer to not have heat friendly fiber. So I was so excited to see this one does not have it. Okay, let me show you the back of this. Now, I really like that soft sculptured back. This is kind of an updated page cut uh, with the textured choppy layers. It's a little updated, a little more trendy, and I really like that. I think this is perfect. I love the long fringe here. Under the chin, very, very face flattering for so, so many people. And that's what I think I've enjoyed the most about this is the way that this comes down and really is pretty. Now, what I have done two things with this wig. Of course, as it is Raquel Welch, it's a little large on me and I have to adjust it. I can pull the uh, tabs in if it's perfect, but I have a 21 and a quarter inch circumference head. I'll put my specs down below. So just know if you have a, probably an average to larger size head, you probably won't have any problem wearing this wig. Now, as I said, these are not heat friendly fibers. So it is a little shiny. That is the case usually with non-heat friendly fibers. I am going to put some uh, dry shampoo in this and that will tone down that shine. So just if you think it's too shiny, use a little uh, talcum powder or a little, I just use some dry shampoo and take that shine down and it usually will go away anyway after a few washings. But in the beginning, I just give it a good spray of dry shampoo, takes care of the shine. I like the light bangs. They're a little long, as you can see here. I probably would trim those as well. But it has such a beautiful lace front that I'm gonna enjoy wearing this one with a little wispy bang and off my face. So I think you could make this super professional by slicking this down or getting your hands in there and giving it a little lift can make it super fun and casual too. But as you can see, this is a low density wig, low to medium, I would call it. And that's not always the case with Rocco Welch either. A lot of times they have a lot of hair on the top. This one does not. So another thing that I really, really like about this, and I'm glad they're kind of changing it up a little bit. Cute. Okay, let's look at the color of Classic Cool. Okay, let's look at Shadow Shades Golden Wheat, my favorite Raquel Welch color. I love a lot of her colors, but this, I do believe, is my favorite. So let me let you get a good look at it. Medium honey blonde with soft gold blonde highlights and medium brown roots. Love the rooting. What I love about Raquel Welch colors, this color in particular, is how the highlighting is so beautifully done around the hairline. Let me let you have a look at this beautiful, beautiful lace front. 
and see how the highlights come all the way down I think that is gorgeous and so so realistic I have had so many people when I have worn this color Raquel Welch with a lace front just be amazed that this is not a wig that this is a wig they can't believe it uh, my co-workers they just have to get up and stare at this lace front they love it because they are just like no one would ever know that's a wig and I, I just am in a hundred percent agreement with that it is so beautifully well done and another big plus for this wig is it comes in over 30 shades there's something for everyone for sure so pretty okay let's take a look at the inside of the cap of classic cool Okay guys, I'm back. Let's look at the cap construction of Classic Cool. I slipped into my Raquel Welch Advanced French. I just did a review on this earlier in the week. What I want to show you is the difference. Heat friendly fibers versus non. As you can see, this is shinier. The heat friendly is not as shiny, but like I said, a little powder, a little um, spray on this will take this down. A little dry shampoo will take this shine down. But there is a difference and I just want you to be aware of that. But like I said, I like the heat friendly and these short boy cut wigs because it's going to hold this style super, super well. It's just a different feel, everything. And I think in a short wig like this that you want to keep some lift up here in the top and all that, that's perfect. The heat friendly is perfect. But on a more sleek wig like this, I prefer the non. So best of both worlds here. Okay, the inside of the cap. Wow, it's beautiful. Okay. Again, I just really want you to take a look at this lace front. Temple to temple lace front. Look how far down into the ear tab that goes. So, so pretty. Into a left mono part gives you those parting options. Hand tied lace front, beautiful. You get all that beautiful off the face styling with this lace front. Okay, closed ear tabs with stays. Again, you can see the rooting. Open wefted. Has the memory cap three. As you can see, has this silicone. If you don't have hair, that's perfect. It helps hold it on. Uh, if you don't have any hair, I do, of course, have bio hair. And it fits perfectly and it holds perfectly. I don't have any issue. And this will eventually mold to the shape of your head. Extended felt. Nate with Velcro adjust adjusters and as you've seen I have taken them in a little bit as I said these are a little large on me so I think it's great for average to large size heads let's look at the stretch good stretch and as I said here is some where the permatees is not a huge amount at all but it does indeed have some and I'm glad I love permatees <laughs> can't help it and I think it looks great on this style. But you can see here, it's not a lot. At all. At all. Here's another look at this gorgeous, gorgeous color. Shadow Shades Golden Wheat. That highlighting is beautiful. And I love how they bring it all the way down into the rooting. Very, very nice. See how beautiful that highlighting is around the face. It's heavy, heavier around the face, really just brightening up your face. Beautiful fibers. Lovely. Okay, I'm going to slip it back on and we'll talk about some specs. Okay, let's talk about the specs for Raquel Welch Classic Cool. The front is 5.5, crown 7, sides 4.5, back 6.5, and the nape of 2. It's good. I like this length. Uh, if you don't like a real short nape, uh, real short nape or you have uh, your bio hair is longer in the back and you feel like you don't get good coverage, this might be a good choice because this does come down longer with a little bit longer nape. 
But you see the shape of this, like I said, it's just that updated page because you get all this different, the sculpting in the back and you have all these layers and textures where a smooth page boy would just be completely, usually one length and bumped under. This is so cute and so on trend. I like it very much. And again, this gorgeous lace front. I wanted to pull this back so you could really get a look. And again, that highlighting, wow, really nice. Now, if you wanted to get some texture in this, I would do what I always do. Use some John Renault contour cream. Peace out cream. Let's just do a little. Just a little. No more than that. Just a tiny, tiny amount. Rub it in between your fingers just to warm it up a little. And then I would just completely run my hands through this. Just like this. And you can get even more texture make it bigger. I like to get the ends to get them that really piecey look. It's so simple. It really is to create a fun, piecey, textured look just with that small, small amount of contour cream. I'll put that behind my ear. And just do a little on the ends just to give it a little piecey and you just you know made it super casual and fun just that easy and then by the same token you could use that to just make it really sleek if you would like it that way I think I kind of just like it messy okay very cute really a nice one way to go Raquel Welch Okay, guys, that is my review of Classic Cool. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you again, Andrea at Wig Studio One for this beautiful, beautiful wig. Please contact Andrea if you have any questions. She is so happy to help you. Beautiful customer service. Just an all-around great gal. Please follow me on Instagram at Crazy Wig Lady. Every Wednesday, I do a Wig to Toe Wednesday where I put a wig on on camera, style it for you, and then show you my outfit for the day every Wednesday, Wig to Toe Wednesday at Crazy Wig Lady at Instagram. Also on Twitter, please follow me on all those social media platforms. Also, I have a blog on uh, wigstudio1.com. I will review this wig, a, a written blog. Also have more pictures, more pictures of the cap, usually some color comparisons. So please be sure to check out my blog at wigstudio1.com, Crazy Wig Lady blog. Okay guys, please like and subscribe this video to keep these content coming to you. I so enjoy doing these reviews for you and please leave me some comments down below. That's the way that you and I can connect to each other. Okay, and until we meet again, remember, we're all in this together.